virtue. A word I often hear, but spend little time pondering the meaning of. What makes something virtuous? How can I know what virtue is? The reason I am making this film is to inspire people to think about technology usage and how it relates to virtue. I will start this off by saying, I do not have the answers. I can't tell you what is a healthy and virtuous amount of time to spend on technology a day, but that's not the point of this film. This film is being made to inspire you to think about your time spent on technology and relate it to the theory of virtue that I will address soon. When it comes to material culture, I think I could safely say that our devices are extremely important in each of our lives. Devices, such as phones and laptops, are probably some of the most important material objects everyone watching this has. Most of us use our devices every day for school, work, communication, entertainment, and so much more. We value our phone especially as almost an extension of ourselves, because without it, we often feel uncomfortable. A study posted on the National Library of Medicine showed mobile phone dependence in over 30% of participants. Given this, I want to dive into trying to uncover how technology usage relates to one of the most famous theories on virtue given by Aristotle. And I want to see if this theory written over 2,000 years ago could still have merit and meaning today. Aristotle was a Greek philosopher who stated his position on virtue by writing the doctrine of the mean. In this, Aristotle describes how virtue lies between two extremes or two vices. So, when it comes to technology, one could argue that one extreme could be that it is ignorant to not use technology like your computer or phone at all in this day and age. This is because technology helps us learn and oftentimes be more efficient at our jobs. Thanks to my ability to use my phone, I can successfully make this video right now. On the other hand, using a device for too long can often distract us and take us away from our daily duties. So given that most of us know how to use technology, is there a virtuous amount of leisurely time to spend on it? Is there a time that lies between the extreme of not using technology at all and the extreme of being on it too much that would be virtuous? For example, even with leaving technology usage for work and school out of the picture, Communication and coordination become increasingly more difficult if you do not own a phone or hardly use one. So let's use a scenario with phone communication as an example to demonstrate Aristotle's point. Not responding to someone over text could easily be labeled as a vice. For example, if you're trying to coordinate times or rides and so on, where responding too much could be in inhibiting your ability to complete daily tasks like exercise or homework. To see what people had to say about technology usage every day, I began interviewing some of my peers and classmates. I asked them if they thought they spent too much time on technology a day outside of school and work, and if they thought there was an ideal amount of leisurely time to spend on technology a day. Do you think you spend too much time on technology a day? Uh, personally, I think I do because I get too caught up in Instagram and YouTube. And it takes, it digs into the time of work and homework. I don't think that I spend too much time on social media. Yes, most days, yes. I think I definitely spend too much time on technology outside of school and work. Just in between, in between like going and doing my homework, I'll get on TikTok or YouTube or something and just be at it for maybe even an hour, maybe two. Do you think there is an ideal amount of leisurely time to spend on technology a day? And if so, what is it? I think it depends on each person. Uh, if you're able to get your uh, exercise of the day in and your homework done for the day and all your work, then uh, and you have an hour or two hours of leisure time to go on your phone, I think that's okay as long as you got all the important stuff out of the way before. I think the ideal amount of time for social media is probably like an hour or like leisure time on technology. I think the ideal can change from day to day. Um, I know for me, my ideal will change based on how busy I am with other things. Some days when I'm less busy, more I can kind of take in more media and be fine, but when I'm more busy, way less. Probably only one to two hours a day is a good amount. 
Hello, Amina and Reese. Um, this is Justin. I'm just trying to say that I'm finishing up my video, actually, currently, um, right now at this point in time with this draft. I don't have a specific closing statement that I want to add on that's finalized and completely written. So I just wanted to include this to say that I'm working on that right now, grabbing some B-roll tonight, um, and I plan on finishing my video up by Wednesday. Uh, but this is the start that I have currently. I have to kind of fix some of the B-roll. Some of the footage got a little choppy when I put it into the editing software. Uh, but these are minor things that luckily I have a week to kind of fix. So I'm still going to add uh, my lens, talk about the philosophical lens a little more, uh, than the analysis of the interviews. And this is kind of my start at the film so far. Thank you.